what you mean. You know what it is. Checking in. <laughs> Man, I really don't know what to expect. To be honest, I heard I just heard a roar. I know that's something serious, but I don't know what to expect to come after that. Come on. I ain't scared though. I ain't say that. I ain't say I was scared. Amazing. This is just it. Oh, you got you got, you got, you got, got him on the knee right there. I'm a tiger oh, guy for sure. I'm say um, tigers like the, the the male tiger doesn't. It's not gonna roar and do all that. Right. Like a lion like a male lion. Would male lion showing like off back. all the time. Yeah, like and sit hanging. back and kind of. I like that. That's yeah. that's me. <laughs> that's me. Now tigers are they hold the magic yeah. at this size. She, that little talk here go that long, you oh, the chuff Florida? and that chuff oh, noise. Here, <laughs> that's what I was yeah, I was that's a happy sound. Tiger legend himself. Oh my god, it's Max Strong. <laughs> Good the baby, one. huh? Yeah, that's a pretty cat, man. Oh, they're magic. How are you, baby? How are you, baby? <laughs> she's super cool because she just knows that we're all part of this tiger tribe and she's cool about it. How you doing? You come to the other side, bud. Let's just take them around and over. <laughs> they run 45 Harry. miles an hour. I know. You know, you'll be pushing 20 on a good day. You know, it's hard to run that kind of speed. And weigh 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. And you get a 600 pound guy running running 45 miles an hour when he, the impact of what he hits, and when he can hit, and then his neck, shoulders, and face, all the power is the neck, shoulders, and face. He grabs and he pulls up. It's 30,000 pounds of torque. In his upward pull, like an arm bar, but it's like a body snap. He bites and curls back. That's his death grab. So y'all seeing that when y'all feeding them, huh? Like how they fight. Over we feed smaller them. pieces, and I've seen him do it in the wild. I've seen him in the wild kill stuff that weighs a thousand pounds. Mm. Volley's this boy, Sagriba's this boy, nine years old, eight years old, 40 pounds, 110 pounds, smaller even though he's an older guy. And tonight's uh, dinner here, you can see, is brown basmati rice, 
with lentils in it, a bunch of lentils, and on top of that, a bunch of fresh organic broccoli. And then if we cover it in brewer's yeast, brewer's yeast, you ever have yet red star yeast? Yeast is like cheese without having the dairy and without being the, the stuff. So we cover it in brewer's yeast, which makes it kind of like mac and cheesy. It gets this cheese flavor to it. And then on top of that, we add uh, liquid amino acid, which is kind of like soy, like uh, soy sauce a little bit. Salty, flavory stuff of soy. And then we put olive oil in it. All that together makes the chimp fantastic dinner. And they, they, they wolf it down. Uh, chipotle. Mm. They love like chipotle uh, burrito bowls. The, the ones without the, we don't use the burrito on the outside, we just use the burrito bowl. He's, his, his aim, he has better spoon skills than Bali, but he, um, normally we feed him ourselves because they eat smoother, quicker, and cleaner. Tell me, tell me, tell me, what, 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 what is, whose is this? Is this yours? Yeah. Oh, this is Dave's Killer Bread. It's like a super grainy, wholesome bread. You get it where you are, Dave's Killer Bread? Dave's Killer Bread, organic peanut butter, organic strawberry jelly. Oh, kind of got you. And they love their PBJ. I bought Bali Nutella and Crustables. You did? Yeah. Did you have them? Not yet. I just got them. I just got them yesterday. Yeah, they have a heck of a smack. I want to say. can run pretty good, but they can climb like magic with their toe like that. Some big foot. I can see a big foot. By the way, did you see that there's normal on Google right now? Cooking channel where they teach people to cook. Right. And you can see all the recipes and all the stuff that we make them. There's a Myrtle Beach Safari um, YouTube is a, has a bunch of cooking shows on it about how chimps cook. Yeah. Okay. So, isn't that funny? Isn't he funny? Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice puppy. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that puppy. Oh, I think that's a puppy. This one? I don't know the one I get like it. That's what I'm saying. Uh, a lot of people don't realize there's the non-profit portion of the movie and all the rare species. I couldn't even post for that. We actually that. take money from the film and television work that we've done, and money from the tours that we're doing right now is put it into wildlife conservation projects all over the world, helping to save these animals where they still have. So if he was to reproduce with a lion, his offspring would be called a lion. No. Oh, yeah. Hi. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. No, I'll talk about it. And don't be fooled by the baby bottle. Odin here has some pretty big teeth. Uh, about the size of his parents' teeth combined. And obviously, doesn't sleep in my bed anymore. In fact, I don't even walk around the facility without a team of trainers. And that's where Dr. Angel's techniques of working big cats is you always do it in teams. Now as you go around the facility, you're gonna see some extraordinary bonds these trainers have with their animals. And this isn't a hobby for us. We eat, sleep, and breathe the training of our animals 24-7. This is our whole life. We're gonna release a bunch of babies in here. Is that okay with everyone? Yes. I thought so. Now when these babies are out here, they're gonna crawl across your laps. When you're in your laps, make sure you reach out and you Pet them! That's what you're here for, right? And one last thing. Everyone poops. Good luck. It's why they have these big feet. Hunt the rabbit through the snow. Sure and tail makes sense. You don't need a long tail to hunt rabbit or it'll just get in the way. This so is Chandra. Sparkling horse today. Anyone know sparkling horse? Oh, you found the squeaker. This is one of the ones that was in the pool with you, Grace. One of the smaller ones. Turn those on his head. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, he's asleep. He's out of there. Did you see that?
And the way I'm holding him, this is acting like mom's mouth, the way that I'm holding him. So this is how she would carry him. And so if you hold him just right, they just go completely relaxed. Otherwise, she's going to drop him and keep running. Um, but if you see, if I change my position, he's like, oh, did we land? Are we there? Okay. Oh. Uh, We're out here on the tiger run. We're going to have these big tigers come out and chase our high-speed mopalope. They'll come running up here, get a reward at the pan, and have this incredible experience playing around out here. Great enrichment. That tiger will be blue. Rishu! Rishu! Launch the rocket! Ramaya, Ramaya! Let's see if our run will do a little flying for us today. <laughs> a lot of times she makes an adorable little cheapy baby bird sound. Okay, so let's see if she'll make that sound. Aww. It's really cute for a serial killer, isn't it? Through your hat. Ooh. You have to sleep here, so. Cutie baby, that one. So you're going to stand right here and face Nick, just a foot on either side there. We'll see if she'll do this. I'll give you a bit. Here she comes. I think she's building a nest up there. Not a whole lot of people get to have an eagle land on their head. That was sick, dog. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh, bubbles, as a female African, can have a little more tough. So never the great big ones you see. Those are always big boys. All right, rock throwing crazy child. That's good. She's going to either eat the landscaping or decorate with rocks. Bubbles is always looking for something to do. So we tried every other flavor, Kool-Aids, um, organic tea, blueberry syrup. What will Bubbles drink every time? We found her favorite. Lo and behold, Bubbles wants handmade Hawaiian punch. Where you make up the punch with little flavor crystals. The bottom is stronger than the top. Then she thinks it is just simply terrific and she'll show us every time how it works. Every drop she'll work on this. She's got an amazing amount of suction that she can produce out of that schnoz. A little bit left. She'll still work it. That's a big job for that drum. It goes. That's a good girl, bum bum. Uh, all of her teeth are in the far back portion of her mouth. Elephants don't have teeth in the front, on the top, or the bottom. Just great big molars in the back. Bubbles will show us what those look like in exchange for one of her favorites I have here, and that is the atomic fireball. Bubbles thinks that fireball candy is simply deluxe. She's got her trunk up. This is the begging mode. She's staring down at me with that big eye. She says, Come on, yum yum, give me some of that candy. Ah, uh, yum, yum. Feel the burden there, bub bub. Yeah, you're getting it bit by bit. Uh, uh, uh. And here's your candy. That's a good girl. Now, that little fireball candy, hot and spicy as it is, gives Bubbles a lot of flavor. Bubbles is sucking on it. Look at her little cheeks. She's going to crunch it up and get the full heat. When it goes just right, Bubbles will leave the building. Look at her there. She's faded out in fireball land. She's frozen up. All she's thinking about is that heat for that moment. It shows really the talent of that big schnoz. Melons are getting bigger. Bigger melons, sometimes a bigger mess. We get the right melon, those big southern 50-pounders. This is a pretty big melon. They, they can take a ton of force. Now, Bubbles will grab it. 
She can't get it to her teeth. She's going to wrap her lips around it. She's going to put her trunk against it, squeeze it just right, and pop that melon apart. As she does that, you'll hear that force generated. Maybe we'll get a splash, probably not. You watch that talent go. She'll stick it up there. See, it doesn't even fit in. She gets her nose on it. Hear that pressure going down. She's trying. This is a tough one. Oh, yeah. Big tear in half. Tear that melon in half. Hold one piece upside down. Put it on the trunk. You go right there. Yep, she'll find it. Just kind of bend forward just a hair. There it is. Come up and wrap your arms around that nose. Give it a big old hug. Steady, you big dog. You're a good girl, Bubbles, baby. Monkeys. Don't you think you great ape? It's a big boy here. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Yo! What up, dude? Let's see, let's see who does more pull-ups. What? Oh! Ah! Oh. 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 You don't interrupt the lemur. Oh. Don't interrupt the lemur. Oh. 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 How you doing? How you doing? Oh! 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 Subtle movements. I'm sorry. I'll hold her hand. There you go. She can't move that fast now. I don't like no subtle. We're slow. They're just really fast. Yeah. These are the ones that move through the jungle in the brachiation form. Thank you. She's about to take off on me. She can eat the same. Should, also? Should I give her a little gummy? Yeah, yeah. She can have some. Oh. 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 This is our blank canvas right here. We're going to add this non-toxic children's paint to the canvas. I tell you it's non-toxic children's paint because Bali is crazy about eating paint sometimes. That's my blank canvas. As soon as they touch this, do you know what it becomes? It turns into abstract art. One of a kind, abstract art. Bali, show me how to paint, not to eat it. Go, go, go. Oh, he's got it, though. He's got good skills. He's not even eating. He's playing with paint. Oh, 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 show me. Show me the art. Show me the art. I see it on the side there. Look a little bit more. Oh, he says, oh, made a masterpiece. I am an artist extraordinaire. Look at that masterpiece. Casually swimming. The only age to ever do so, but he's done just kind of casual about it. He used to do it real fast, make a lot of bubbles. He goes, I'm going to get out there and just swim around by himself. He's going to go and say, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go somewhere else. There he is, brother. That is a good boy, Bali. So confident that he can just take over the world. There he is, Bali the Chip. He's a great ape. Come on, Bali Chip. You did a good job. Oh, in the water and reclaim your kill. These are two very important purposes. One, they act as a flag so that mothers would pick up behind a baby tiger to have for lunch or dinner. They would see these two white spots and think they're a pair of eyes looking at I'm here at the Myrtle Beach Safari here in South Carolina. As you see, they're taking good care of us, doing some things we've never done before, enjoying this experience with a lot of beautiful people. So check it out. Yo, one of the craziest experiences I've ever done. Don't know where else you could ever do this in the world. Insane. It's the man. only place, right? No words, man. It's insane. You know what it is. Mr. Bucket Man himself, you feel me? You're gonna get D'Angelo 50 points today. Stay tuned, you feel me?
Hey guys, this is beautiful Vali and Sagriva, our eight-year-old chimpanzee brothers. You can come visit them and the rest of our animal family. Come meet their little baby brother, play ball with these guys, and share some pizza with them at the Myrtle Beach Safari. You can also check out what we're doing to help save great apes like this, rhinos, tigers, and orangutans in their last habitats at the rarespeciesfund.org. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow us and check out for the next episode.